if a pumpkin spice latte made a wish to become a real boy. Uh, so uh, one of my friends, I swear I have friends, uh, one of my friends is kind of a dick. <laughs> like he calls sex a sport. Because <laughs> it's good exercise, I call sex an Olympic sport. <laughs> because it happens once every four years. <laughs> and I'm not a part of it. <laughs> I just watch. <laughs> Yesterday somebody told me I had big dick energy. First time somebody told me I had energy. <laughs> I have a <racist> uncle. <laughs> yeah, he's okay. <laughs> KK. <laughs> Actually, um, I gotta get this joke in while I can, uh, because my birthday was like a week ago. Yeah. I wanted to buy a suit, because like I wish I looked good in a suit, like I wish I could wear a suit and not have it look like it just came from my own bar mitzvah. <laughs> like a couple days ago, I wore a suit in public, three Jews just lifted me into a chair. <laughs> after that reaction. <laughs> uh, it's gotten really bad. Like recently, I took an acting class and my teacher told me to spiral into depression. I'm like, I can do other shapes too. <laughs> Actually, my dad told me uh, that I should not marry a neurotypical woman because I would have no chance with one. <laughs> Which our kids would be doomed. Like it would be the first baby born with the postpartum depression. <laughs> like her first words would be, ugh, what's the point? <laughs> uh, my, my parents have not ever believed that I would date. <laughs> Like, did anybody else's parents, their sex talk was just sitting you down and saying, nope. <laughs> that was a new one. If <laughs> um, I also have schizophrenia, like I first found I had schizophrenia when I wrote my diary, Dear Diary, and the diary wrote back. <laughs> But a lot of my friends like have mental illness and it helps them in comedy for the most part, like ADHD, you have like super high energy, like OCD, uh, you are super focused while writing and they're at, they ask me like, what does schizophrenia help you with? I'm like, extra audience members? <laughs> uh, my friend is thinking of starting a Christian rock group called Dua Lipa Faith. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, quick, quick question for the what? Thank you. <laughs> Quick question for the women in the audience. Uh, have you ever faked an orgasm? Yeah. Would you like to again? <laughs> I do not need an answer, I knew it. Uh, you, you probably guess this is about me. 
but I spend a lot of time thinking about how Dr. Seuss lost his virginity. <laughs> Like, do you do on a boat? Do you do with the goat? <laughs> it's all part of the new novel of the places you'll come. <laughs> By the way, this is why I look like in the jacket. <laughs> like, I look like if Stephen Hawking regained the ability to walk. <laughs> Uh, both my parents are doctors. Uh, there are very important differences between being a comedian and being a doctor. <laughs> like when a doctor has sex with his patients, it's called Nightingale Syndrome. No, it's called when a comedian has sex with an audience member. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> uh, for Hanukkah, uh, I got a Swiss Army knife. It was very Swiss. I got in a knife fight. I wouldn't pick either side. <laughs> Bobby, did you like that one? <laughs> uh, they're making a movie that's the opposite of No Country for Old Men. Call Florida. <laughs> making a game show for cocaine addicts called Where's My Line. <laughs> Spanish version of Louis Tunes of the main character asks a lot of questions. His name is Poor Gay Pig. <laughs> Why are you guys like the ones I'm not proud of? <laughs> woman because I want to disappoint somebody else's parents. <laughs> Like it's the only career 
where you can feel validated when people clap when you leave. 